اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم a reminder for myself always in this way of marifa the importance of understanding the self the importance of women the importance of our reality from surah al yasin اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الذي خلق الأزواج كلها مما تنبت الأرض ومن أنفسهم ومما لا يعلمون الله عز وجل stressing the importance of this ayah by saying his Subhan that glory be to him who created all things in pairs everything Allah created with a azwaj with a mate because zawj and has deep inner reality that which is on the earth that which is within themselves and that which they don't know. This is now the, the way of understanding that mate and the importance of women in Islam, the importance of women in spirituality and how much Prophet put in importance upon them and the love and the respect upon them and that your children, their paradise is under the feet of your mother. And how much it's abused now and how much it's taken advantage now and how much all around us marriages are collapsing. Allah describing humans where you are an oppressor to yourself. If we talk to people who are out and doing crazy things in life, they don't think that they're oppressing themselves at all, they actually think they're having fun. So then whom Allah is, is referring to that you are an oppressor to yourself. Allah not caring only for the physicality because the physicality goes back to the dirt. What then is Allah worried about? What is He warning us about? Is that I gave to you a, a zawj. I gave to you from your reality in heavens. As Salaamu Alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshallah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content inshallah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels and donate. Every bit helps. Jazakallah khair and we will return to the program. The Turuqs begin to teach that your physicality is the male aspect of your body for men and women, it doesn't make a difference, this is a haqqaiq. We have to speak in a language for people to have an understanding. Your body, your physicality is your Islam, it's your shield. Your Islam has to be strong, your deen has to be strong, the body has to have istiqam and firmness because it's guarding something very precious inside. It's guarding a cargo from Allah And that's what Allah is making reference. I brought you this deen, not to oppress other people, but to perfect this treasure I put within you, this zawj, this mate that I have put upon you and, and you're responsible to feed her, to dress her, to nourish her to bring her true power out, the power of her soul, the power of her reality 
and she will bring all azimatullah upon your being. When you discipline the physicality that is the Islam, now bring out the reality of your soul which is Maqam al-Iman. And Maqam al-Iman is then the whole story of love where Prophet clarifies for us, you have to love me more than you love yourself. In this material world thinks the soulmate is uh, you find somebody you love and that's your soulmate. The haqqaiq is something completely different. What Prophet brought for us is that before your, your marriage of earth and fusihum, the one whom with you all the time, make that marriage work. So lucky are the ones who come young into tariqah so that they can make their real marriage work. We come to the turuqs to clean ourselves, to take away zulamat. That we have to admit in our life that if I'm on this turuq and Allah guided me to this turuq but I am an oppressor to myself. And Allah we will give them a najat if they acknowledge they are an oppressor to themselves. So anybody wants a successful marriage, we're talking on fusihum, the one inside first. Because this will also teach counter-terrorism, counter-extremism, counter-crazyism. Because if a, if a person goes unchecked, untrained and become a zalim, to himself where his physicality is oppressing his soul, is destroying his soul, no doubt that one is overcome by shaitan and begins his zulamat upon everyone. So then the cure for that oppression is to train them back, fix the zulamat within ourselves. That understand your boundary and your limits, put upon your physicality a discipline, anything without discipline becomes wild. The physicality is a beast, it has to be domesticated. If it's not trained, yeah, that horse is going to kill you. If you domesticate the horse, it becomes a ride in which you can ride. And you can move and accomplish what Allah wants us to accomplish. Then the discipline of the soul and the reality of the soul is muhabbat qul ini kuntum tuhibun Allah fattabiuni. Because Allah wants the, the greatest, the greatest gift for that soul. You want the greatest love for that soul? I want the highest reality for that soul, be careful because this world they want to love each other. And there are people who talk that, you're my everything, you're like my God, you're my paradise, you're incorrect. And Allah will grant that person what they wanted and that's the scary sadness of it all. Allah is great, Allah is just. You die and you, all your life was just about the spouse and you love the spouse as if they were everything. Then Allah will ask you, what is it that you want? You're coming and Prophet's hadith come to purify and, and to clarify, you will be with whom you love. Good news. And a warning, warning, be careful who you love because you'll be with them. All you did was condition yourself to be with that person. As soon as you pass away Allah will grant you, be with them. Good or bad, be with them. You love them in dunya, your soul is attached to them, it doesn't know anything else. It's not all of a sudden going to reach to the grave and think it loves something else.
what you've attached your soul to, Allah will grant that love to you, be with it and you'll be so far from the reality. What Allah want for us is the highest love. That's why only Allah come into our life and say that God's mercy is unimaginable, be careful what you love. Be careful what your focus and what you're dedicating everything to. Dedicate that love and that heart to the highest which its eternity and its reality is beyond imagination and which eternally flows fountains of abundance upon you. A Timeless Reality with Shaykh Nurjan Marakhmidi Guides the Reader in Meditation Connecting the heart to a guide and to daily spiritual practices to understand the effects of positive and negative energy and to progress the reader in their spiritual awakening and the soul's connection to the world of light. The Divine's Ancient Timeless Reality Order on Amazon.com of yours is the, is the house of the soul, that wife of yours inside, that zawj and that mate of yours inside, teach her the correct love, not the love of physicality, not the love of people but the love of the Divine, love of the Divine. If that soul is trained to love Allah and wants nothing but Allah and Allah will guide that soul Qulini kuntum tuhibunullah If you want my love, make your life fatabi'uni. Fatabi'uni, you have to be from tabi'in and ihtiba. You give your whole life because I want your love Ya Rabbi. And Allah says, my love with Sayyidina Muhammad and he's my Habibullah. All creation looking for my love and I am looking to please my beloved Sayyidina Muhammad All the Prophets were seeking Allah's love. Allah was sending His love to Prophet Means then they come to purify and perfect that this love of yours, make it for Allah Make that soul to understand that reality, to love and praise upon Prophet and then Prophet comes into our life and teaches that that soul it should love me more than it loves you, more than it loves your body, it should love me. As the world of light it will attach, that light will move close to Prophet and begin to attach to Prophet And that is the opening of the reality of that Azwaj. That that soul is moving towards true love, it's true love in which Prophet will begin to dress it. When Allah loves you, it teaches you the secret of state. So the reality of the inner marriage, if someone is not taking a path in which to have a perfected inner marriage and begin to struggle with all his desires or her desires, begin to perfect their character, take away zulamat and enter into the oceans of love, oceans of, of fragrance and perfumed love of Sayyidina Muhammad in which Prophet then comes and begins to open that ocean of that love.
Prophet is teaching us, Allah made three things dear for me. When you're now moving to that zawj, that mate inside you, be very careful, be sensitive with that. Allah made this very dear for me. And the opening to that reality is the atar and the fragrance but in reality it's tip and purity. That when, when you safeguard its purity, its cleanliness, it's going to give you an immense fragrance. Your soul has a fragrance. If people smell your soul, they smell roses in their home, they smell sandalwood. Depending upon the fragrance that that wali has, when people smell fragrances in their home, these are the souls of awliya, not the body. The body is going into the dirt. But the purity of the soul, then Prophet and Allah made dear for me women. It was not physical, it had nothing to do with physical women. But the reality of this zawj that made dear for me the soul, the soul of myself, the soul of my companions and one of the names of Sayyidina Muhammad and Abu, Abu Arwa, the father of the Arwa. Nur al-Anwar, Sirat al-Asrar, that every light is coming from Prophet It cannot come from Allah go back to Allah Allah Shariq. It comes from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah and it returns to the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah This reality of souls, keep it pure, keep it clean. Allah made it dear for me and then its proof is then made my salah to be the coolness of my eyes. That Allah made dear for me my salah and it becomes the coolness of my eyes. If your soul is fragrance and clean, pak, and you clean it with dhikrullah, you clean it with durood al-sharif, you clean it with the istiqam and the firmness of your belief that your belief is there to keep everything of harm away from this passenger that I'm carrying within me because we have ghaibah. We're, we're not the people who prostitute our women. You don't prostitute the one, most important one in, inside of you. When you let yourself open for everything, Allah asking, you're destroying your soul. This is a delicate being I gave to you. Your responsibility was to safeguard her, nourish her, protect her. She'll be a fragrance for you. She'll be the coolness of your salah because that powered soul when it prays, it's praying in Allah's Divinely Presence because the body was Islam, the soul is Iman, the purified soul Maqam al-Ihsan. And Maqam al Hassan is that all oh, your ibadah as if you see Allah Zawajal. There are only Allah who see what Allah Zawajal want them to see Ahl al Basira. They're not blind, leading blind people. Their heart is open. As a result, Allah Zawajal shows them, and all their worshipness is as if they see Allah Zawajal from whatever Allah Zawajal wants to show them. And if you didn't reach there, at least know that Allah is watching you. So it means the successful marriage of dunya requires the successful marriage of your soul first. So it means this way of taskiyah, this way of marifah is that we perfect ourselves, perfect our character. So it means the one who is perfecting and trying to work upon themselves, they begin to understand and they begin to perfect the marriage of their physicality. The Ya Rabbi as I'm safeguarding my soul, I'm responsible for the soul and physical person that I'm married to. My responsibility to safeguard them, take care of them, nurture them, treat them with respect and with honour and with dignity. The woman safeguards the rights and the honour of her husband and the husband's responsibility to take care and nourish and protect then the reality of the paradise. But that reality in which Allah and that reality which you don't know and which Hollywood comes to tell you that your soulmate 
oh I have this person that's going to be my soulmate. No, you're incorrect, you're not going to be my soulmate. <laughs> People are so free to give their heart out and you end up with them for eternity. And those whom are in difficulty Allah will ask them, you be with whom you love the greatest. That's why then only Allah come into our lives and says, we are going to clarify your love, not for him, not for her, your love for Sayyidina Muhammad He's never going to let you down. Men and women, you're going to let each other down like you can't imagine. And that's the soul of the soulmate, that you have your reality of your soul always in Divinely Presence. They achieve. They made the perfection of their love in this dunya perfect the way Allah wants it. Perfectly in love with Sayyidina Muhammad They're free from the physicality and they've been reunited with that which they spent all their time loving. And their soul goes back into that ocean of love. This is an ocean of light that goes back into that ocean and back to where it came. We said many times before like drops of water. You put the drop of water, drop of water, drop of water, in the end if I put 10,000 drops it's but one ocean of water. Their soul goes deep into the reality, into the haqqaiq and into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why everything around them is a celebration. All of the heavens is celebrating that one from earth reached Allah's true love. And now he's going to be reunited with his real love and his real, his real zawaj. Back to his origin, back to his reality. Subhanahu wa bika rabbal izzat amma yasifun. Wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa. Wa bisi rasulikum fatiha. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK, as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.